hello thank you for joining me today this is Liz at home today I'm going to be sharing a little bit more of my art stash with you I have my cup of tea and I'm just going to have a quick sip here we are cheers <laughs> and today I'm going to be sharing my very very inexpensive pencil collection so these are the cheapest pencils that I own and I just thought I'd share them with you and swatch a little bit so I'm going to move them off to the side I am using a bit of a new setup here I bought a new tripod and ring light for myself and I don't know that I'm all that comfortable with it as yet I must admit I'm not sure we'll have to see together how this works and whether I won't maybe go back to my old setup. I bought it to record some of my pupils for an I Stedford where they had to send in a digital recording of themselves so I needed the ring light for that and then I thought I'd try this for my coloring channel but I'm not so sure. So now most of these pencils I've had for quite a long time. They are some of the pencils that I started with and I'm not sure how many of them are available worldwide. These are pencils I've bought in South Africa and some that I've bought from Amazon. Um, these were the first pencils that I really enjoyed coloring with. They're actually really nice. They are called Lyra, no, hang on a minute. I need the reading glasses now. Lyra Groove Slim. So let me see if I can let you see that and it's a uh, an interesting looking pencil it's one two three it's a triangular pencil and it has these little dots that are carved out of the color but it's actually a really nice pencil to color with it lays down a nice color a bit waxy these are all pencils you could buy for your kids as well as for yourself if you wanting inexpensive pencils it retains a point very nicely and it actually blends quite nicely i still use these fairly often in my coloring books i don't know that i've done the best choice of color here to blend with so i'm just coloring one next to the other but it I really like them so that's Lyra Groove Slim and another thing about the Lyra Groove Slim is that it doesn't create a load of dust so that's number one number two are these these are the cores k-o-r-e-s cores colors you can get these on Amazon and I have two different sets. The one type of set I bought comes with two colors on a pencil and the other is like that. And these I also use quite often still. I don't know why I'm grabbing all the browns at the moment. So these are very nice. They have a nice vibrant color. They lay down smoothly and they're really great. Um, in South Africa, I think the largest amount of colors you can get is 36. I think they're probably a Chinese brand. I'm not sure. Maybe Taiwanese. But very nice pencils. They're also triangular. They feel different to the Lyra Groove. Okay, so putting that on the side. Next up, glasses on, are Rose Art. Now I have a vague idea that Rose Art is no longer available. I think that they were not a good pencil, but again, I don't mind them. So I'm not quite sure if anybody knows anything about Rose Art, you can tell me. I bought these um, because I'd seen a lot of people, 
when I started colouring with, colouring with them and I bought these from Amazon. I haven't used them very often but I actually need to show them some love so I think I'll keep them out and maybe do my next picture in them. So they come with quite a lot of lovely colours. They didn't sharpen well, they broke down. A lot of these cheaper pencils break down, but some of them sharpened well. None of them are open stock available. Then these are really nice pencils. These are Giotto Still Nova. I think with a name like that, they must be Italian. Wait, this is Rose Art. Rose Art. So, these are harder, but I love these. I've bought these for my grandchildren as presents, and they like them. But again, blends quite nicely. And these come to a very nice point, so they would be nice for small spaces if you like colouring small spaces. I don't because of eyesight. Giotto Still Nova. Sorry about the bad handwriting. Then next is a very inexpensive, very badly sharpening <laughs> brand called Prit Kids Art. And these, this was using it once. Um, it didn't sharpen, so it kept breaking down. I'm going to perhaps... I can get myself sufficiently organized, sharpen this one, and let's just see what happens. So, I decided that this other system wasn't working, and the feet of the tripod and everything were in the view so I've gone back to my old way let me know if you think the lighting is better like this or if the lighting was better with the big ring light I need to find some magic way of getting it's very hard to find something that comes over the desk um, I know a lot of youtubers have things installed like the frugal crafter has a whole thing installed in his ceiling and that but I don't think I can get that done Anyway, back to my cheap, inexpensive colouring pencils. And this next lot are the very well-known Crayolas that so many people have and best beloved by so many people colouring. We all know Crayola make from our childhood. In South Africa, we used to get Crayola. We don't really get much Crayola anymore. You can get a 24-pack and this and that, but nothing like what is available in the United States and I'm not sure about the UK if you're watching from the UK or Australia or Germany or somewhere like that let me know if you can get Crayola there I'm really interested to know anyway enough talk about it let's color with it let's take a nice two purples so I like Crayola I like them if I want to do a light coloring because they're quite a hard pencil but they actually lay down color nicely and you can get a quite a a gentle coloring shall I put it that way with them and I find the experience of using them very enjoyable this nice collection of colors of course I bought from amazon.com um, regarding all the rest of the pencils I will put links where I can find them on Amazon for you but for the rest these are not really art supplies per se I would say they're kids art supplies and nice things to buy for if your grandchildren are coming to visit or if you've got young children and you like to color with them or if you have a lower budget such as most of us do these days Life seems to have really become a bit challenging for many of us and like me now retired on a fixed income. Um, sometimes you just want some new art supplies and then it's nice to buy the more inexpensive ones if you want to treat yourself. So there we have our Crayolas. They sharpen fairly well. They are what they are. 
Next on my list is something that we do not get in South Africa at all, and that is these are in a color it case, but they're not color it. They are Prismacolor Scholar pencils. This is a 36 cent set, and then I've got Prismacolor Very Thins with them. So there's it's either 36 or 24. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve, twenty-four, thirty-six. Um, I bought these second hand from somebody um, who hadn't used them and they're really nice pencils. They, to me, maybe the color lay down is a bit less, maybe the pigment lay down is a bit less than with the Prismacolor Premier, but if you enjoy a soft pencil, these are fabulous. And if you live where they're readily available, they're really great. I must say, if we got them in South Africa, I'd be buying them for my grandchildren like a shot. They sharpen quite well, and they're they're very nice, and they come with such pretty colours. So that's the Prismacolor Scholars, and um, the Scholar pencils are are not available open stock like the Prismacolor Premier are. So just be aware of that if you like them but if you're feeling like trying out something inexpensive as well these are great I'd love to know how many of you have tried these Prismacolor Scholar pencils I really would please let me know if you have and what you think of them and then another readily available in South Africa it was my first when I really got keen on colouring. I just love these Colleen colour pencils. This is again a second-hand set that I bought from somebody who'd gone off colouring. Um, I don't know how available these are in the States. These are readily available here. Can you get Colleen colour pencils in the States in the UK? Let me know. I'm going to look on Amazon. But, oh my goodness, they are such a pleasure. They are not as inexpensive as, for instance, um, Crayola. And the thing with them is there's no number or anything. Whereas with Crayola, you've got a color name. Um, so there's nothing with the Colleen's. They're just there. <laughs> so I had at one stage no there we are did it with sharpies named them and swatched them this is a this was a bad choice because this is a neon color and then the yellow i'm going to go over the neon with the yellow but there are you can do a heavy pressure and get a really Nice, thick, waxy colour and then a lighter pressure. Oh, I must use my Colleen's again. I'd forgotten. Unfortunately, they do sometimes have trouble sharpening. So I'm not going to sharpen these now on camera because I don't want to hit a problem and then lose half a pencil if I don't have to. But Colleen's now come in a large number of colours. I think the most you can get here in South Africa is 72, but that's pretty awesome um, so that is my collection of very inexpensive scholar brand scholar student brand color pencils and I feel quite inspired by having hauled them all out again so thank you for watching my videos so that I keep making them and challenge myself to check out my art supplies and you guys inspire me so much and thank you for watching and thank you for your support and I wish you a wonderful colorful happy week bye bye now